police officers are the best crime fighters in all of the city. Which is why for the next 100 days, I'll be surviving as a police officer in Minecraft. Using my massive arsenal of police gear, I'll chase down criminals and pursue justice while taking down the bad guys. Will I be able to capture the escaped mafia crime boss or find myself in dire trouble? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a rookie cop in the police force. I can't wait to start my first day! There was a massive jailbreak taking place as all the world's nastiest criminals began to escape from behind bars. My fellow cops were everywhere trying to apprehend the runaway convicts. However, among them was the worst criminal of them all, Giovanni, the leader of the Mafia. He managed to knock down cop after cop with nothing but his bare fists. <laughs> this town doesn't belong to the police anymore. My men will rule this town and soon the world. I have to help. I rushed into the fray to try and assist my fellow officers. With my police baton in hand, I chased down the prisoners knocking them out before they could escape. My police allies fought by my side, doing everything they could to prevent the prisoners from getting too far. The sheer number of prisoners was overwhelming, but I couldn't let that discourage me. I managed to take down a few of the runaways, but most of them were escaping. Things got worse when I spotted Giovanni escaping in a car. The chief of police, Kyle, rushed towards me. Rookie, you're coming with me. After that criminal. The two of us hopped into police cars and raced after the mafia boss. On day two, I was in the middle of a heated police chase. We zoomed through the streets of the city with our sirens blaring as we pursued the leader of the mafia. We passed through multiple intersections and began to gain on him, when suddenly we turned on the freeway where we are soon met with criminals standing and waiting in the middle of the street, aiming their weapons at us. Don't slow down! Keep going, rookie! Yes, sir! I pressed on through the gunfire, narrowly escaping any lethal bullets. I was closing in on Giovanni car. I almost have him. Suddenly, Giovanni swerved and I was met with a TNT trap in the middle of the road. Oh no, it's a setup. I wasn't able to stop the car and drove directly into the explosives. The trap was set off and I blacked out. On day three, I woke up in the aftermath of the explosion with low health. My car was totaled and criminals were closing in all around me. I'm not going down without a fight. I took out my weapons and defended myself from the incoming threats. The criminals surrounded me, attempting to corner me against the rubble. I pulled out a pistol of my own and fired at them, but there were just too many of them. I fought with all of my might, but I was too weak from the explosion to hang on much longer. Just as I thought I was done for, Chief Kyle came to my aid armed in a powerful mech. Stand down! The Chief's mech charged forward, stopping the criminals without any hesitation. Their bullets could hardly pierce his mech's metallic shell. Despite how many of them there were, the chief was able to defeat them with ease. Thanks to the chief's incredible gear, all of the foes were taken down. Whoa! Don't worry, rookie. You'll climb the ranks and sure enough, you'll get some sweet tech of your own. Before we could celebrate, the ground trembled violently as a massive explosion was set off in the distance. The two of us hurried towards the chaos to find out what was going on. On days four through seven, we arrived at the source of the explosion to find that a bank had been set on fire. The mafia's cronies were robbing the place for everything it was worth. Everyone, apprehend the criminals! I listened to the orders of my chief and jumped into the fray to stop the robbers. Two of the criminals attempted to make an escape, but it was no use. I quickly stopped them, using my agility to dodge their bullets and my police baton to knock them out before moving inside. There, I was greeted by a massive gang of criminals, who all charged towards me as soon as they saw me. I fought my way through the burning bank as the criminals chased me, shooting their guns at me relentlessly. I used all the weapons at my disposal to stop this high in its tracks, shooting back at them with my pistol and smacking them with my police baton when they got too close. Just when I thought all the goons were taken care of, I spotted a straggler running away from the scene. Oh no you don't! I chased after the goon in hot pursuit around the twists and turns of the city. He tried as much as he could to shake me off, but I wasn't gonna let him escape me. Suddenly, I turned a corner only to find that he had vanished. This isn't right! I took a step forward and accidentally pressed onto a pressure plate, causing the floor to open from under me. I plummeted into the darkness below. 
on days 8 through 10, I landed inside of a secret mafia base. This must be where the straggler went. Before I had time to think, mafia members began to approach my location. I quickly ducked behind cover, narrowly avoiding their line of sight as they passed by. This place is crawling with bad guys, and I'm just a rookie! I took out my walkie-talkie to call for backup, but I got nothing but radio static. Something was jamming my signal. I have to contact help before I'm seen! I began to proceed through the base with caution as I searched for a spot I could call for help. I tried multiple different areas, but to no avail. As I searched, I found a powerful weapon and a military-grade silencer laying around the hideout. This'll come in handy. Why? What's a cop doing here? I turned around, and to my horror, spotted a powerful-looking guard looming over me. I had been spotted. The angry guard didn't hesitate to attack. On days 11 through 14, I was defending myself from the massive mafia guard. I tried out my new weapon, and to my surprise, it was crazy strong. Sparks flew as I fought for my life. The guard charged at me, swinging his huge quarterstaff around at the speed of light. He moved swiftly and ferociously, performing combo after combo with ease. Getting hit by his weapon knocked me back into the stone wall, and I had to take a moment to catch my breath before retaliating with some attacks of my own. My newfound weapon helped to make up for my low health, and with it, the guard and I were almost evenly matched. The two of us were neck and neck, but I still had low health from my previous encounters. I didn't have enough stamina to win this battle. With no other way out of this, I made a run for it as the giant guard came stomping after me. Where do you think you're running? I was chased through the halls of the secret base, trying to shake the guard off my tail. Unfortunately, I soon found myself cornered. There was nowhere to run. It's the end of the line for you, run. I thought I was done for, until a dog jumped in and bit the mafia member. It was a pup from the police's canine unit. Youch, you mangy mutt! Now's my chance! I booked it past the guard while he was preoccupied with the dog. On days 15 through 17, I arrived in a room that held a massive machine. This must be what's jamming my radio signal. As I was about to shut off the contraption, the mafia boss Giovanni stepped out above me. Well, well, well. If it isn't the cop that got me locked up. Freeze! I'm gonna put you back behind bars just like before. <laughs> I think you should be the one scared in this scenario, kid. Just then, guards came out from all corners of the room, completely surrounding me. This city belongs to me now. The goons attacked, and I braced myself for battle. The goons quickly surrounded me on all sides, preventing me from going for the switch and deactivating the machine. I pulled out my golden axe and swung wildly into the horde of bad guys, but their numbers were still too great. My axe couldn't withstand the pressure and shattered. With one weapon down from my arsenal, I fled, taking shelter in one of the other rooms. Not allowing me even a moment of respite, the enemies flooded in and cornered me. It seemed like nothing I did could defeat them all. There were too many for me to fight alone. I knew I needed to call for backup. I desperately tried to get to the machine, but each one of my attempts was met with bitter failure. The Mafia was too strong. Is this the end? On days 18 through 21, I was about to meet my end until my furry companion from the canine unit showed up to help me once again. The little pup tossed over some food, which gave me a chance to heal. I can't give up. With my new edge, I hurried towards the machine and managed to flip off the switch, restoring my radio signal. I need backup, quick! Ugh, you'll pay for this. I will send my top ranking members to take you down personally. He fled from the scene, but before I could follow him, the same guard from before stopped me in my tracks. You're not going anywhere. He charged at me, and I prepared for round two. The guard used his momentum to perform a wide, sweeping attack. I tried to counterattack, but he followed up with a flurry of blows. I could barely get a hit in. The canine unit bit at him and took the focus away from me for a moment. With my golden axe broken, I had to resort to using my police baton. Even though I was landing more hits, I could feel it wasn't nearly as effective as the axe. With some distance created by the canine unit, I unholstered my service weapon and fired into him. Despite landing several direct shots, none of them seemed to slow him down. What is this guy made of? 
the battle was tough, but thanks to the help of my canine friend, I managed to take out the guard. Just then, reinforcements arrived with Chief Kyle. Well done, rookie. I think you deserve a promotion. The chief handed me a mysterious badge. When I grabbed it, my outfit transformed into a darker blue. I was no longer a rookie, but a full-fledged police officer with five more hearts and a shiny new police motorcycle. This is incredible! Suddenly, my radio started to go off. There's trouble up north. We need backup. I'm on my way. On days 22 through 25, I pulled up to the scene of the crime in my new police motorcycle. It was a jewelry store where a group of captives were being held hostage by the mafia. If you don't hand over the rookie, my bomb is going off and we'll blow this place to smithereens. Does he want me? I have to go there. You can't. He's going to kill you if you do. I realized I was at a stalemate, but time was running out. What was I going to do? Suddenly, my little canine dog from before ran up to me. You again? The dog seemed to want to lead me somewhere, so I followed it. Behind the jewelry store, the helpful pup took me to an alternate back entrance. I had found another way into the building. Nice work. Thank you, doggy. You can't go in there. It's too dangerous. I have to try. Unsure of what I might be getting myself into, I ran inside of the store through the back entrance. On days 26 through 28, I arrived inside of the jewelry store. I need to stay quiet, otherwise things could get really bad. So I started to sneak through the area until the mafia members started looking around. I know you're hiding here, copper. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh no, how did he find me? I thought the jig was up, when all of a sudden, my dog <laughs> ran in again distracting the mafia members so I could sneak by undetected. Phew, back to the mission. I entered the room where the civilians were being held captive. We're saved! Shh! Who was that? I heard footsteps approaching. It was the mafia member. I needed to act fast or else he'd catch me for sure. Quickly, I freed the captives and they escaped through the back entrance. Just then, the mafia member spotted me. You're mine now! I barely had time to react as he attacked me. On days 29 through 32, I was fighting off the mafia member with my weapons. The clock was ticking on the bomb, and it could have blown up at any moment. I needed to beat this guy quick or we'd both wind up dead. Please, we don't have to fight. Let me go and help me defuse the bomb. Me helping you? Ha, no way. If that bomb goes off, we're both done for. The two of us fired at each other with our guns. Bullets whizzed through the air. I took cover behind one of the jewelry cases, but the glass couldn't withstand the impact of the bullet, shattering instantly. The two of us circled around the perimeter of the room, but no matter what I did, I couldn't manage to get in close. We exchanged gunfire, reducing the interior of the store to nothing but shards of glass and debris. Finally, I managed to sneak up behind the foe and land a devastating blow, dealing massive damage to the criminal. I thought I might have been able to overpower him, but he pulled out a remote. It's over for you now, officer. No, wait, what are you doing? You're not going to defeat me. Die! Pressing a button on the remote, the mafia member set off the explosives, causing me to take massive damage. Everything looked blurry and my ears were ringing. When my vision came to, I saw the criminal fleeing the scene. No, Ugh. I can't let him escape. Mustering up all the energy I could, I climbed into my police motorcycle. I don't have much time. I've got to catch him, quick. I put on the gas as hard as I could and the motorcycle took off, speeding after the culprit. I'm going to bring him to justice no matter what. On days 33 through 35, I was pursuing the mafia member in my police motorcycle throughout the city. His car turned a corner. I continued my chase and followed, approaching the car ready to make my arrest, but he had seemingly vanished. What the? I looked around for any sign of him, but came up short. He's gotta be around here somewhere. There's no way he could have just disappeared. Suddenly, the mafia member jumped down from above me. <laughs> Not so fast, officer. He was about to land a killing hit, but I managed to evade it at the last second. He found me again? How? The mafia is always watching. The two of us charged towards each other, weapons drawn. With all of the strength I could muster, I swung my baton at the foe. But at the last moment, he rolled out of the way, dodging my attack. 
I repeatedly tried to hit him at close range, but he was just too quick, managing to evade all of my strikes. With equal swiftness, the enemy slashed me with his dagger. Although his weapon wasn't as powerful as my own, he had the advantage of speed. Predicting his movements, I managed to land a series of massive blows, but he still had me on the defensive. With each hit, I was pushed further and further back until I was finally knocked into the pool. Emerging from the water, our battle continued. The two of us exchanged melee attacks, doing our best to not allow the other to push us into the pool as we circled around it. We were neck and neck. It was anyone's game. I had to turn the tides, and quick. Luckily, landing one last hit, I managed to defeat the Mafia member. Phew, that was tough. Just then, the chief caught up to me. Wow, you're already proving to be a valuable asset to the police force. I think I can entrust you with a very important mission. Count me in. On days 36 through 39, I arrived at my next mission only to find that the area was full of toxic material. Whoa, what is that? The hazmat team was already there waiting in gas masks. We need to evacuate the residents here before the mafia's poison gets to them. Sir, there's just too many civilians. How are we going to be able to help them all? There has to be a way. Leave it to me. If you're going to help, you'll need this. The hazmat team member handed me a gas mask. I put on the gas mask and continued into the hazardous area. Even with this mask, I gotta be careful around here. I don't wanna get too close to any of these toxins. As I made my way through the mayhem, I found a building on fire. What happened there? I watched as people rushed out of the building, attempting to escape as quickly as possible. Some of the hazmat team members were helping to escort people to safety. We don't have much time. We have to get as many people out of there as possible. Yes, ma'am. Suddenly, a mother ran up to me in tears. Please, officer! My daughter is trapped inside. You have to help me! Say no more. I'll find her. Thank you, thank you. Please hurry. And so I rushed into the burning building to rescue the woman's daughter. There, I found a little girl all alone in the flames. I'm here to save you. Look out! Just then, I was ambushed by a mutant animal. On days 40 through 43, I was defending the little girl from the mutated beast. Ah! Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. The animal rushed towards me and the little girl, and I braced myself for a fight. The two of us collided with great force. Doing my best to defend the little girl, I used my weapon to strike the beast with my baton. I ran outside as the mutated monster followed suit, barging through the wall of the house and chasing me to the yard. The animal started summoning bolts of lightning from the sky and purple crystals that shot up from the ground. I evaded its blasts as best I could, but then I had to avoid the beast itself as it rolled towards me in a ball. I got in close to the creature, hitting it repeatedly with my baton, but this only seemed to anger it even more. It smacked me away with its spiky tail. I fired at the foe from a distance with my gun, but it sent me flying up into the sky. I plummeted back onto the ground and its onslaught of attacks began once more. I did my best to evade its assault by dodging and rolling while striking it with my baton. The creature was very tough, and I was confused as to how such a monstrosity could even exist. Did an animal get into the toxic waste? By the skin of my teeth, I managed to win the fight, defeating the mutant animal. Now that that's over, follow me. We've got to get out of here, quick. There was no time to celebrate. With the little girl following behind me, the two of us hurried out of the building. We managed to make it outside just before it was completely consumed by the flames. Finally, the family was reunited. Oh, officer, thank you so much. It's no problem at all, ma'am. Just doing my job. Just then, the chief came up to me. Officer, we need to find the source of this toxic lake. We'll evacuate the rest of the residents while you look. Yes, sir. With that, I left the venture deeper into the city. As I walked, I spotted a mafia member in the distance. I decided to follow them for a while, staying just far enough away that they wouldn't notice me. Suddenly, I saw the Mafia member jumping into a manhole. Huh, that's suspicious. With no other leads, I had no choice but to follow them into the sewers. Here goes nothing. On days 44 through 46, I arrived underground to find a machine pumping toxic waste. That's the source of all this. I have to destroy it. Suddenly, a group of Mafia goons snuck up behind me. It was as if they somehow knew I was coming. The officer's here. Quick, get him, lads. I'm not going out without a fight. The knife-wielding mafia members charged at me 
first. I swiftly took them out with my baton. As they fell, I turned my attention to the armed gunman in the distance. Picking up a MAC-10 gun that one of the goons had dropped, I started returning fire, shooting back at the long-range enemies. But just as I thought I had defeated them all, even more foes emerged, surrounding me from all sides. Using my new submachine gun, I managed to take out the nearest threats. Then, I switched back to my trusty baton, using it to quickly neutralize the closest goons. As the remaining bad guys opened fire in my direction, I rolled out of the way of their bullets. Baton in hand, I charged the remaining gunmen, finishing them off in close combat and picking off the few remaining stragglers with my gun. I was able to take down the lesser grunts while increasing my arsenal with the weapons that they dropped. But soon enough, their leader re-emerged. Well, well, well. So you really are the officer that's been causing us trouble. Giovanni will be pleased when I kill you. I guess he's gonna be pretty disappointed because I'm not going anywhere. The leader attacked me and I jumped out of the way of his shotgun blast, grabbing the goon's dagger in the process. I locked daggers with the mafia leader, clanging our knives and slicing at him to get the upper hand. The horde of goons may have been tough, but the mafia leader proved to be a skilled knife wielder and got a few hits in. My health was getting low, and I knew I needed to put up a better fight to win, so I rolled behind him and slashed at his back. I was able to catch him off guard, but the knife fight continued. Neither side was backing down, and I was determined to get some answers. Although he was much tougher than his lesser counterparts, I managed to rush him with one final blow with my blade. Tell me where your boss is. I would rather die than tell you. <laughs> the criminal made a break for it and jumped into the toxic waste. Suddenly, the room began to tremble and he emerged as a mutated creature. The sludge mutated his body. On days 47 through 50, I was locked in combat with the mutated mafia leader. I charged towards the colossal mutant but its deafening roar sent me tumbling away. I tried to get close once more, but it effortlessly hurled me into the air. No matter what I tried, I couldn't remain near the creature. I had no choice but to retreat, but it pursued me relentlessly, sending me flying with the massive impact from its jumping attacks. I was growing more and more desperate. I pulled out my new gun and fired at the monster, but the bullets ricocheted off of its tough exterior. I switched to my dagger, slicing at the enemy, but still, it proved impenetrable. Even my baton failed to break through its defenses. No matter what I did, I couldn't defeat it. Just then, I noticed a riot shield on the ground. Maybe this will give me the advantage I need. After picking up the shield, I rejoined the fight, using it to my advantage. With the help of my new shield, I was able to effortlessly dodge the majority of his attacks, and even the ones I couldn't evade were incapable of penetrating the superior defenses of my shield. Its inability to harm me as it could before enraged the mutant. It unleashed the full extent of its powers, hitting me with all of the attacks in its arsenal. But my new shield withstood its onslaught, leaving me nearly unscathed as I returned fire against the giant foe. Thankfully, with the help of my new shield, I was able to defeat the mutated criminal. Now all that's left is to get rid of that machine. I placed down some TNT and ran for my life as the area exploded, destroying the machine for good. I climbed up towards the surface where I found the whole police force all waiting for me and celebrating. Whoa, hey guys, what's all this? Excellent work, officer. We had another successful mission thanks to you. Here, you deserve this. He handed me another badge, promoting me to captain. I transformed into a new outfit, gained five hearts, and I had access to a military tank. Suddenly, my radio went off. We found the whereabouts of one of the Mafia's leaders. We need backup. No time to celebrate. Time to hit the road. I arrived at my next mission between days 51 and 54. When I got there, cops were already stationed around the area along with Chief Kyle. How'd you get here before me? That's classified. Anyway, we need to get inside the base and capture their leader for information. I'm counting on you, Captain. You've got it, Chief. I tried to sneak in, but just like before, it seemed like the Mafia was one step ahead of me. Not so fast, Captain. <laughs> the goons fired their guns down from covered positions. I quickly dashed for cover, dodging the bullets all the way. I can't get much closer. Time for plan B. I sprinted back to my military tank and hopped inside. I stormed through the barricade, taking out the snipers blocking our way. Just follow my lead. My men stormed the yard while I made my way towards the building. The police and mafia forces collided and the battle began. 
Despite the determination of my fellow officers, we were outnumbered by the enemies and many attempted to stand in my way. Luckily, my tank made quick work of the Mafia goons, sending them and pieces of the ground flying in the air. The battlefield became overrun with fire from my comrades and the Mafia. After taking out a good chunk of my enemies, I charged toward the building and managed to blast down the main entrance wall. But before I could roll on inside, I heard trembling. The Mafia had intercepted me with a tank of their own. What? How do they have access to this kind of gear? That ain't none of your business. You're gonna be sleeping with the fishes when I'm done with you. Defeating me won't be so easy. We both charged in, ready to fight. On days 55 through 57, I was fighting it out with the Mafia. Tank versus tank. My fellow officers backed off, not wanting to get caught in the crossfire. I fired a shell at the Mafioso, but this tank could take a hit as much as it could ditch one out. I steered the tank out of his sight in order to avoid constantly taking fire. With the tank's armor weaker in the back, I fired and landed a critical hit, but he swiveled with his tank and returned fire with a blast that shook mine. The impact of each blast sent debris flying. This guy's harder than I thought. I gave it all I had, but the other tank overwhelmed me. My tank had sustained too much damage and it couldn't last much longer. This thing is gonna blow! I jumped out of the tank just in time as it exploded behind me. Luckily, the explosion was able to distract the tank goon long enough, giving me the time to run deeper into the hotel. Phew, looks like I'm gonna have to pursue on foot. I ran through the facility as more mafia guards tried to stop me. Stop right there! Nowhere to run now, Captain. They began firing as more goons came out of the woodwork. I fought many of them off, but I just couldn't seem to find the leader I was seeking. I can't keep up at this rate. Suddenly, my little canine unit arrived to help. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you, canine. <laughs> All right then, lead the way. I followed behind K9 as he sniffed out a path for me. On days 58 through 61, I arrived in a room with a heavy vault door where the scent trail finally stopped. He has to be through this door, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I tried to open the door, but it just wouldn't budge. There's gotta be a way to open this. Suddenly, my dog companion turned around and growled. Uh-oh, something's coming. Suddenly, a nearby wall broke down and revealed the mafia's mutated bloodhound. <laughs> All right, canine, it's just you and me against this mutated mutt. Let's get him. My police dog and I leapt into battle. The beast swiped at us with its massive razor sharp claws, slicing through my bulletproof vest with ease and dealing massive damage. Even with my riot shield, the dog was able to break through my defenses. I fled out of reach of the creature's devastating scratches and took out my gun, shooting at the foe from a distance. The bullets were able to push it back, preventing it from getting close to me. But I couldn't allow it to hurt my dog either, so I charged back in, smacking the enemy with my melee attacks. However, even with with the two of our forces combined, the beast clearly wasn't going to go down easily. The Mafia's bloodhound was tough, and my furry friend and I were using everything we had against them. Come on, canine, we can do it. Just keep fighting. <laughs> With our strength combined, canine and I were finally able to defeat the Mafia's evil dog. As they fell, I noticed they dropped a key, and I moved in closer to pick it up. Huh, this key must open the vault. Stay here, buddy. Keep an eye out. I don't want more people surprising me. With that, I used the key to open the vault door and headed inside while the canine stood guard. On days 62 through 64, I arrived inside of the vault. There, I found the next mafia leader waiting for me. Put your hands up, you're coming with me. Looks like the cops have finally found me. You'll never take me alive. The mafia leader charged at me, massive sword in hand. Spinning his colossal weapon in a circle, the foe slashed me with his mighty sword. I attempted to retaliate with my baton, but his blade was stronger and had longer range. I was outmatched. Leaping into the air, the enemy came flying at me with his sword pointed and ready to pierce me. I barely managed to roll out of the way, narrowly avoiding the blow. The two of us jumped on top of the table, and our fierce duel continued. However, even there, the adversary didn't allow me a moment of respite. 
cutting through my uniform and dealing huge damage. It was clear I could not beat the foe in close combat, but I couldn't switch to my gun because I didn't want to wound him too badly. I need to keep him alive to serve time behind bars. Just then, I spotted a cage in the corner of the room holding some sort of mutated chicken. Wait a minute, behind bars? With no other option, I ran over and freed the chicken from its cage as it started rampaging around the room. Luckily, I was able to evade its attacks as the chicken pushed the mafia member inside of the cage instead, trapping him. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Mon dieu. I am defeated. Although the leader was taken care of, there was still the matter of the berserking mutated chicken. In a fit of rage, it attacked me. It was too strong, and my health was too low to take another hit. Just as I thought I was going to die, Chief Kyle came out of nowhere and slayed it. You managed to capture one of the mafia leaders. Excellent work, Captain. Or should I say, Deputy. Thank you, Chief. Don't thank me. You've earned it. He handed me a new badge, and I transformed into an all-new outfit. Gained five hearts, a sweet new mustache with sunglasses, and access to a helicopter. On days 65 through 67, I was back at the police station, interrogating the captured mafia member. Tell us where Giovanni is. I'd never tell you. If you don't, you're gonna be locked up in the slammer forever. No, please. I don't want to go back there. I just escaped. Then give us the intel, bub. Fine. The mafia leader started drawing up a map. Once he was done, he handed it over to me. I didn't have much time to look it over before I was interrupted by the chief. Hey, Deputy Max, can I have a word? He pulled me out of the room to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Good work getting that map. We finally have a lead. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. He could be lying just to get us off of Giovanni's trail. It doesn't matter. We have to check it out, just to be sure. Well, if you insist, I'll do whatever you say as your loyal deputy. And so, following the chief's instructions and the mafia leader's map, I set off to find Giovanni's location. On days 68 through 72, I arrived at the location on the map. It was a military-grade base, but the border was protected with heavy-duty walls and guards. There was no way I could just walk in undetected. Good thing I have a helicopter. With my new tech, I took to the skies and flew over their defenses. But as I flew, the Mafia began firing their weapons at me. In retaliation, I dropped aerial attacks down on them from above. Blowing up swaths of enemy mafiosos while I dodged their rocket launchers was hard enough as it is. But I steered the helicopter like an expert pilot and began strafing the area with explosions. I thought I was making good progress when all of a sudden, I started to take too much damage from the incoming missiles below. Although I was giving the fight all I had, my aircraft had sustained heavy damage. It was going down and I had no choice but to flee the battle so I could land. As quickly and carefully as possible, I made an emergency landing on the roof of the military base. I got out of my helicopter just in time before it exploded. But the Mafia was still coming after me. I needed to find somewhere to hide or I was done for. That's when I saw an entrance to the building. Narrowly avoiding their attacks, I infiltrated the base. On days 73 through 75, I entered the Mafia facility, finding myself in a room filled with money. I gotta lay low and look for Giovanni. I snuck around the place, looking for my target. During my search, I found a briefcase. Huh, maybe there's info about Giovanni in here. I tried opening it, but it needed a code. I looked around nearby and found a letter with a code on it. Perfect! I opened the case to find two golden guns. Sheesh, these are awesome! Just as I equipped them, a bunch of mafia members stormed inside and headed directly for me. This isn't right! How did they know exactly where I was? As I fired my new guns, the goons came charging towards me and quickly I became completely surrounded. My back against the wall and enemies all around me, I swiftly rolled out of harm's way before retaliating with my trusty police baton. Switching back to my dual pistols, I jumped into the air, performing an epic backflip as I unloaded a barrage of ammo onto the foes from above. 
I raced into the crowd once more, alternating between using shooting and slicing the criminals with my golden guns to finish off the last remaining stragglers. After taking care of all the goons with my new golden guns, I continued through the facility and jumped down into a new area. There, I was met with a huge mech guard ready to fight. Who are you? We've got you now. Time to seek vengeance for what you did to the boss. What I did? You guys are the evil ones. It's all about perspective. Die! Just like that, the giant foe attacked me. On days 76 through 79, I was locked in combat with the big mafia guard. Rapid firing both of my guns, I started blasting at the robotics opponent, but he returned fire with a barrage of homing missiles. Not wanting to be on the receiving end of their projectiles, I moved in close and started hitting the mech with my melee attacks, but they swiftly crushed me beneath the weight of their gargantuan foot. I brushed off the blow and moved in close once more, but it seemed no matter what I did, they were able to knock me away with ease. But I refused to relent, attacking them again and again. However, their defenses were too great, and I couldn't make a scratch on them. Their metal exterior was just too strong. Such advanced tech must have cost the Mafia a fortune. Although I was giving the fight all I had, the enemy's armor was too thick. I needed to use something more powerful. Just then, I spotted some dynamite in the corner of the room, and I began to devise a plan. I grabbed all that I could and ran back into battle and tossed them in his direction, creating a gaping hole in the floor that he couldn't escape from. The dynamite exploded onto his heavy armor, causing the guard to take massive damage and finally crumble to the ground. Even though I was battered from the fight, I couldn't rest as I heard footsteps approaching. I have to keep moving. I took off further into the Mafia base to find Giovanni. On days 80 through 83, I found the main room of the Mafia's base and saw someone sitting in the boss's chair. Giovanni, come out with your hands up. Suddenly, I found myself surrounded by a horde of goons. It was a trap. How did you know I'd be here? <laughs> To my horror, instead of Giovanni in the chair, it was Chief Kyle. Surprise, deputy. Chief? You work for the Mafia? You really are dense. How did you think the Mafia got their hands on police level tech, not to mention track your every move? This was all a setup. But you gave me all these upgrades and advancements. What was the point? I knew you were going to find out eventually. I figured might as well have some fun with it. I just took out a good chunk of your goons. You don't have any problems with that? They knew what they were getting into. Business is business. I felt so betrayed. My role model up to this point has been nothing but a spy the whole time. What are you gaining by doing this? The Mafia controls the city and soon the world. I could have so much more power if I just partnered with them. You monster. You'll pay for this. In my anger, I charged the chief but was hit by one of the Mafia goons before I could reach him. Everything went dark as I blacked out. On days 84 through 86, I woke up in a warehouse trapped in a cage hanging over a pit of acid. All my weapons and items were confiscated confiscated, so I couldn't bust my way out of this one. What's going on? Sit tight, pal. Giovanni will be here any second to get his revenge, and then we'll move on with our plans. I was powerless to escape and knew the end was near. I almost gave up hope when suddenly my friend from the canine unit arrived. What the? Who let a dog in here? Canine ran into the guard and knocked him into the pit. <laughs> The guard melted in the acid and dropped the remote for the canine to use, freeing me from the cage. Thanks, buddy. I'll make sure to get you a big steak for that one. We got ready to leave, but unfortunately, the goon scream alerted more guards. Come at me. The mafia goons practically fell over themselves to get to me. I dodged out of the way of their initial punches and started pummeling them with my fists. The canine assisted me with furious bites on the mafia goons, lowering their health even further. After a short while, one goon fell after the other as I started knocking them out left and right. The goons thought they had me surrounded, but I was wasn't gonna go down so easily, punching my way through the crowd until there were only a few guards left. My combat training had paid off, and I was winning the fight, until... We're losing, you idiots! Use your guns! Oh, right. Uh-oh, 
Run, canine! Without my weapons, we weren't going to stand a chance against their guns. We split up and made a break for it. On days 87 through 89, I managed to lose the goons by hiding behind cover as they continued to search for me. I have to be careful. I can't be seen without any gear. Otherwise, I'll be done for. I began stealthing through the halls, being sure to avoid any patrolling guards by hiding behind different objects and walls. While sneaking, I accidentally ran into some hanging chains, causing them to swing and make a ton of noise. I quickly rolled behind cover before any of the guards could see me. Hey, yo, these chains are moving. What's the deal with that? Eh, probably just the wind. Come on, we gotta keep looking for that cop. The goons left, continuing to search for me. That was too close for comfort. I need to find my gear, fast. I kept moving until I spotted a heavily guarded room. That must be where my gear is. Unfortunately, a guard was blocking the entrance to the room. I looked inside one of the crates next to me and found a glass bottle, giving me an idea. I threw the glass bottle and it shattered, making a loud sound to distract the guard. Who's there? The guard left to investigate, giving me time to sneak inside. Thankfully, my guess was correct, and I found all my items inside of a chest, along with a new shotgun. Yes! I got him! Suddenly, two elite guards entered the room, both ready to attack. Bring it on! On days 90 through 92, I was locked in battle fighting off the heavily armed elite guards. One of the heavy guards came charging in with a massive axe while the other fired a devastating minigun. I focused on dodging his onslaught of attacks, but then I started to take fire from the brother with the minigun. I used my riot shield to block the barrage of bullets, but the axe wielder almost cut my shield in half. I couldn't be left without a defense, so I focused on taking out the guard with the minigun first, blasting at him with my powerful new shotgun. With a well-aimed shot, I was able to take down the red-clothed guard. Brother! No! The remaining guard made an attempt to escape, but I chased after him. Not so fast! Hitting him with one final blast, I knocked down the last guard. I walked over to confront him to get the information I needed. Tell me where Kyle is! I'm not telling you anything! You killed my brother! Tell me where he is, or you're gonna end up just like him. <laughs> you're running out of time. Kyle's about to complete a huge heist, and there's nothing you can do to stop him. We'll see about that. With that, I knocked out the guard, causing him to drop a map that led to the location of the heist. I can use this to find Kyle and finally put an end to this. On days 93 through 95, I arrived where the heist was going down. People were running around in horror as Kyle wreaked havoc on everything and everyone around him using his mech. You! Stop right there! You escaped? You've always been a crafty one. You're not getting away with this. You're gonna face justice for your crimes. Not if I kill you first! Just then, my former leader attacked me without hesitation. Kyle paid no mind to the civilians still running and screaming around us. His only goal was to destroy me, no matter what it took. He slammed the huge metallic fists of his mech into the ground, just barely missing me. I knew I couldn't take too many heavy hits like that. I shot up at him again and again, hoping my bullets would be enough to take down the massive mech and the chief within before he could do any more damage. The chief was the toughest foe I had faced thus far, but I couldn't let the police force down. I needed to make him pay for everything he had done. Off in the distance, I noticed a piece of the chief's mech had fallen off during our fight. Immediately, I rushed towards it and found myself holding a bazooka. This could be exactly what I needed. With the help of my brand new bazooka, I blasted as many rockets as it took to finally finish off Chief Kyle defeating him once and for all. He dropped a badge and a map to the true whereabouts of the mafia boss. When I picked up the badge, it promoted me to chief of police. I transformed into my final form, gaining five hearts and access to a custom police mech. But I didn't have any time to mourn the chief's death as more mafia goons had arrived on the scene. On days 96 through 98, I was fighting the criminal scum using my new mech. Normally, this many bad guys would make me worried, but with my brand new mech, I knew fighting them would be a piece of cake. The criminals shot at me with their guns, but their bullets could barely pierce the metal exterior of my mech. I had a whole arsenal of new tools at my disposal, including a minigun to shred through my enemies, rockets to level the area, and lasers I could use to blast away any remaining threats. 
with the help of my new gear, I was able to mow them all down. I need to regroup with my men and come up with a plan. And so, with a heavy heart, I reunited with the police force and told them the truth about Chief Kyle. I can't believe he was a traitor. I believed in him. We all did, but we can't lose hope. Giovanni is planning something big, and if we can't stop him now, then the fate of the world is at stake. What are we going to do? I got a map to Giovanni's real location. We go there on one final mission and take down the Mafia from its core. We'll back you up, Chief. Yeah, you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. We got yeah! your back, Chief. We're with you. Thank you guys so much for your support. I promise I'll make you proud. Let's finish this. With everyone on my side, we all prepared to put an end to Giovanni's villainy. On day 99, I arrived at the secret Mafia base with my police force backing me up. Just then, a bunch of Mafia members came running towards me. But luckily, this time I was prepared with a group of my own at my side. Capture the criminals! My fellow policemen all ran in and clashed with the other foes. As the Mafia members closed in on us, I launched an explosive projectile at them, sending them flying in the air. My police allies gave it all they had, fearlessly moving in and following my lead, making sure this would be the last we would ever hear of the Mafia. While my officers continued to hold off the lackeys, I made my way through the battlefield and hopped on top of the roof, hoping to find a way inside. I arrived on the roof of the Mafia base. Just as I was about to enter the base itself, a massive corrupted goon came stomping forward and blocked me from going any further. You're not touching the boss. The brute came barreling towards me and attacked. He slammed a stone fist into my mech, damaging the exterior slightly, but I couldn't let that stop me. I charged around the battlefield, trying to use the slow speed of his attacks to my advantage. I thought he could only use his fists, but he surprised me when he began to shoot acid projectiles at me as soon as I was out of his range. My bullets and lasers slowed him down a little, but I began to worry that they wouldn't be enough to stop him. Even with my mech, the foe was incredibly tough thanks to the colossal size of his mutated form. Fortunately, I was able to pull out a victory at the last second with one perfectly timed rocket blast, defeating the giant guard. Time to take down Giovanni. I exited the mech and ran inside of the Mafia base. On day 100, I entered an office room and confronted the leader of the Mafia, Giovanni. Your tyranny ends here, Giovanni. Do you really think I'll let you lock me up again, boy? You're sadly mistaken. I don't think you have a choice in the matter. As Shiva police, I say you're under arrest. You're going down, Kappa, not me. I tried to do this lawfully, but you're resisting arrest. You leave me no choice. I will bring you to justice. Ready to finish this once and for all, we charged into battle. Giovanni was armed with a powerful sword and a shield, swinging his blade at me relentlessly. He chased me around the room as he recklessly attacked me. All I could do was dodge and block with my own shield and try to sneak in a blow with my police baton whenever I could. In an attempt to keep Giovanni at a distance, I exchanged my police baton and shield for two guns, allowing me to fire at him without getting too close. He dropped his sword and shield as I managed to knock him to the floor, and for a moment, I thought the fight was over, until he pulled out a massive axe and became enraged. He began to swing at me, and we both collided in a tense exchange of epic blows. Giovanni's attacks were fueled by pure rage, as he began to destroy the room in his attempt to end me. But as long as I kept him at a distance, it was anyone's game. As the battle raged on, the two of us were neck and neck. A huge attack from Giovanni sent me flying back, and I struggled to pick myself up as he stalked towards me, ready to strike the final blow. As I thought all hope was lost, I spotted a chest with a golden grenade launcher inside. I equipped it and began blasting, gaining the edge over Giovanni. With one final attack, I had finally brought down the Mafia leader. But the job wasn't done yet. You have the right to remain silent. I arrested the leader of the Mafia, and with that, the city was saved.